<laughs> All right, we're back. Hey, everyone. I, uh, I'm replacing Alan because he's playing in the match now. Yep. All right, and uh, I'm Mr. Kang again. Uh, we have just started Grand Finals, so they are now deciding stages to pick. It looks like they picked Battlefield. Yeah! There's Queen. <laughs> All right, Grand Finals is about to begin. All right, so looking at the bracket so far, do you think the best two teams made it to Grand Finals? Uh, I think so. I feel like... I feel like Jay and Daniel have a really good deal. Like, Synergy, they've been playing a lot. Alan, Alan and uh, Alan was definitely one of the people who were really scared of. And he's saying, oh, John's Bay is kind of fun. Oh, yeah, watching that Bay over play has been a lot of fun. I'm, I'm glad we get to. Uh, yeah. Did you want us to do the split thing? Like, red. Like, red on this side and blue. I think. Are they set already that way? Oh, hey, we all. Hey, uh, we need to do the. There we go. I, I have the screen right there. Uh, Alan and John on the left, okay? It's a little scuffed. <laughs> it's alright. Well, this is our first time doing this. It's alright. People watching the video, they'll skip ahead to the next time. <laughs> alright, we're going to get this figured out. Alright, so John is actually... Wait, who wants stage? Who took stage? Okay, the are first. first. So John's on the left. Oh, Daniel's going with the Piranha Plan. We haven't seen him play this yet. Oh, Piranha Plan pick. Oh. This is going to be a color pick from, uh, compared to their last game. Of the they game. have played already. So. Yeah. Definitely change up the strategy. Okay, name's updated. We are good to go. Okay. Oh, I wonder why he picked Piranha. What do you think Piranha Plan has in terms of the energy? Uh, I feel like, uh, he can, I can think he's going out a little bit of energy. Uh, he's just able to, like, get him from harm way. Very true. I noticed one thing that Daniel likes to do against the Bayonetta is to try to play underneath her and up smash or use that neutral beat. Yeah. So I think Piranha Plan just has uh, better options there. You can neutral B, you can down B, you know, forward B, you can up smash. Yeah. Also, like just having Jay like get the get the power plan ball. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay has been using his pocket really well this entire time. Oh, oh the, the uppy out of shield has been one of Alan's best weapons. Yeah. This I was playing. I was playing this time. I haven't seen him play this time. So why do you think he's decided on this here? So uh, Bayonetta and Link. Again, I don't, I'm not. Good. I've seen him play Link like once. Or something, so. Okay. Hmm. So let's see. Uh. Jay and Daniel down one stock. Two stocks now. Oh, oh yeah, one stock again. Oh, Link is very so they low. cannot kill Link. Oh, there it is. It's two stocks or two. Alright, so earlier in the bracket, uh, Daniel and Jay did get swept 3 0, but I think that doesn't really tell the whole story, right? It was a Jay and uh, John just uh, toying with each other off stage. Like, oh. They just, they just stay off That's one thing I've really been impressed with with John is just his ability to play off stage as Bayonetta. And then John also just has to off the He will he will hit you for days if you do not yeah. DI correctly out of all those hits. Oh wow, the surprise oh. bomb. Oh bomb playing. Oh, oh, oh no the team kill the team suck. See if that comes into play. They're pretty much even right now. Oh, which time? Oh, did he not get a kill off of it? See, there's what we're talking about. Just a up smash out of shield. It looks like Piranha Plant was a good pick for him. Ooh. Devin, Devin was kind of Daniel is a sneeze away from oh! dying. <laughs> it's punished. But the thing is Two very framed off the ledge. Yeah. But the thing is still low. They can definitely smash. Even if it's not. The Bale and Jay are very close. Now. Oh, oh, they're playing together over there on the side. What do you think the, the hardest thing is about playing a week? Or just someone with a lot of projectiles in front of Wow. I feel like it's popular spacing. Oh, and they take the sock. So they'd much rather oh, have Daniel the shield is right. Oh, the shield break! So if they can- oh, I couldn't save him. Wow. Alright.
guy, so they were in a bit of a bit of a pinch there, but they take game one. Yeah, that shield break, Jay couldn't get there in time to help him out of it. All he needed to do was just poke him with a forward air. Alright, they're gonna decide the next stage now. So Daniel and Jay are probably gonna decide stage here. Because I don't think Daniel's gonna come off the piranha plan. Daniel plays a lot of characters, right? Yeah, Daniel's playing one of the most diverse. I feel like Alan has the most diverse tool I've ever here. But that was that's close to all well, in our classroom, definitely. We've yeah, seen yeah. Daniel play, you know, pro uh, Pokemon Trainer as his main in singles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. 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 <laughs> they did have the Isabel duos earlier. That was fun to watch. Yeah. All right, so remember, Daniel and Jay came out of Losers Finals, which means they're going to have to take two sets in order to win Grands. So they are up against it here. Let's see what their pick is. Yoshi Sori. Oh. Yoshi Sori hasn't been picked very often. I think. Oh, I realize Daniel and Jay are backwards right here. It's fine. I'm just gonna type while I talk. So Hirsch, why do you think Yoshi Sori is beneficial to either team here? Hmm. I'm not even particularly sure. I feel like, I guess Daniel can get like, uh, like, uh, like, uh, like, uh, like, uh, like, uh, Okay. Uh, it probably has something to do with the, uh, ledge grabbing for the, you see how the edge of the stage yeah. is tilted down a little bit? A uh, bit of a shorter recovery for them. Bayonet is gonna recover from pretty much anywhere, yeah. so... The height of the, the ledge is not going to matter too much to her. They've got to do something about that lane. Oh! Oh, wow! That's something that Daniel was saying before, right? Yeah. He wants to attack Bayonetta from underneath a, a platform, yeah. underneath the ledge. And then maybe he's Oh, wow. That link down there is hitting uh, Daniel through his recovery, which has hitboxes on it. Oh, Daniel's going to Oh, oh wow. wow! Perfectly timed. Oh. That, that was that was fun to watch. That oh, plant ball. Really That's what I was talking about. That up your uh, hitbox with Daniel. Yeah. Oh, and don't underestimate that poison. That adds a lot of percentage to people. Daniel's going for all this extra credit on this first stock here. Oh, he was. Oh, he had to hold that neutral B. He was worried about hitting Jay, and Jay gets down smashed into oblivion. Down So it's still kind of wrong. Oh, so one thing that Bayonetta is going to do on these stages like this and Kalos is that she can essentially just grab the edge of the stage and uh, can decide her own recovery. That's probably going to play into their favor here, like the game is right now. They're going to have to make yeah, up the stock fairly quick. So have you noticed anything like that today, where people tend to try to team up or yeah, bully yeah. one player on the team? Yeah, especially with like, the box on the off, I mean, they're just uh, two be one person on the team. Especially a lot on this team. Uh, Alan Dunn is very good. It has been a lot of fun to watch them this weekend. Oh wow, the tech on the stage. That one did not miss it. They do. They do. Oh, and Jay dies again. They decide not to take the stock. Alright. Alright. Something. Well, the thing oh. is, he's not going to be able to chase her from underneath the platforms anymore because they can decide their own spacing with a two-on-one. So they've got to figure out. I feel like if Daniel's going to take anyone's stock, it's going to have to be Bayonetta's here. Oh, Even these combos are ridiculous. Very fun to watch. Very hard to get out of. Wow. Great spacing on that recovery. Knock it. Punched into oblivion here. Oh! Oh, Daniel misses the tech. See if that matters. Oh, oh it yeah. did. Oh. All right, John and Alan are are one game away 
from taking grands. Dang, Dan, we'll have to win three in a row to reset. Three in a row just to reset the bracket in order to get to a new, new uh, reset finals here. So looking at the bracket here, uh, we don't have it on screen, but Alan and John, they have not they have not dropped very many games. Uh, yeah, because they got the first round by. They have dropped one game all night. It makes sense. They both placed really high in singles uh, yesterday, right? I mean, we we know that like team chemistry definitely comes into play, but at some point, individual skill is going to trump some of that. Oh, and we see a Joker pick. Jane Dan sticking with the Isabel. I think the Piranha Plant is the correct pick for Daniel. He doesn't want to play uh, his Pokemon trainer into this matchup. He got punished by it very hard yesterday. He doesn't want to do that again. Alright, so let's see what Alan's uh, Joker is going to do in this matchup here. Oh, they were staying right into that Rebel card. Lori, Lori, he's at 62. Arsene, one of the scariest things to face in Smash. <laughs> Oh, early stop. Gimp fails recovery. Oh, and the Arcan comes out. The thing is, Bayonetta's recovery is so complicated. There's a lot of inputs you have to put. It's not as simple as just side B and not B, rinse and repeat. Uh, if you don't do it right, then you just lose your recovery. That's definitely why it's one of the best One of the most exciting games. Oh, 100%. See his, see his bail is just a sight. Go down there off stage and you think he has seed and then he just uh, hops away back up. Wow. Definitely one of the classes. So it looks like uh, Alan's Joker is uh, well, no joke gone. here. Definitely chance for Jane. But these are what? Still on his first stop though. Wow, that uh, air dodge oh. to get out of the fishing. Oh, oh no! Team, the team just that is not what they needed. Daniel has been hitting a lot of parries. He has not been uh, punishing too much off of him. There's another... You don't call those SDs officially, but with the way uh, John has been playing this Bayo, you do not ever expect him to kill himself off stage that way. Oh, it's almost a... Big combo there. Almost a... Daniel knows what to do to position himself to not die there. Oh, oh, he needed to charge that down beat just a little longer. Prana Plant's neck reaches very, very far. Oh, Jake's going to do it. Alright, there's Bayonetta doing Bayonetta things. Oh, the Arshan comes out. Again, on I think mostly you either just wait it out or you uh, do something to. Because uh, he's so fast and so strong with Arshan out. He's very, very scared to fight against. Although, ironically, his recovery is just a little bit worse with Arsene out. Yeah. Because uh, Alan was saying earlier, tether recoveries are probably the best recoveries in the game. That is definitely why like people like MP play Joker and Nyla. Oh, kind of yeah. Those professionals are going to shape how any of these local tournaments play. So, you see the, you see the bylets. Oh, wow, well, the throw did not kill him. That's just a little off. Uh, which time on the ball? John has hit so oh, okay. So they do oh, take the stock just like they did earlier. So in order to make up they can make up this ground by taking Jay's stock here. I mean that's what they're hoping for. Yeah. But they definitely need to take Alex just to get that 2v1. That's what they want here if they can swing it. That offstage fishing hole just does not work. Yeah. He he needs like it's been working the rest of the night, you know, in his defense. Yeah. Just, yeah. There it is. So they're not, they're not dead yet. Yeah. Oh! Wow. Oh! Wow, perfectly yes, timed off stage. I thought you were saying, I know you were very comfortable in front of that. Alright, they're still alive. So let's see just how deep this Grand Finals can go. Not, but now it's Alan and John. So it's not the game to stay. So do you think, what do you think they want to see whenever they're taking the stage here? So they're deciding right now. After like seeing Mala, they definitely don't want to play like... With the curved platform, maybe. I, why, why, do think, think, why do you think Lila was bad? I feel like it was just really beneficial for Daniel, especially. I feel like he was able to uh, play off and like 
it's like gives them easier for this. Well, so maybe anything. I feel like uh, John wants to see a stage. But, uh, maybe like something that he can grab. Oh, like, like Hollows. Yeah. Oh. Or maybe they want the character to be more stage. Because as you've seen, Alan is definitely one of the most uh, well rounded people in this tournament. He can play almost anywhere. I've seen him play like six different champions from yesterday and today. Champions have been playing too much. <laughs> characters. So Alright, back to the thinking, lane. They're still, they're still keeping it though. <laughs> so the Joker goes back. I think he's back out. Yeah. And Daniel's just gonna stick with the front. Of him. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if he switched into the big launcher here. Maybe. Although, he, he needs something with strong up smashes. And Pokemon Trainer pretty much just has charge Yeah. Ivysaur can do lots of things. Yeah, I feel like Daniel's most comfortable on like Iron so I feel like I've seen him play honestly the most on Iron Sword. Yeah, Squirtle seems at a disadvantage here with just the way Alan and John have been playing. Squirtle likes to set up lots of little combos. Mm. Not that you can't do that. Remember, no, that's not the question. Again, that Oh, the safe strike. What a distance. Oh, wow. Dude, that's a I definitely do split out right now. Oh, I mean, I, I, I think the correct Which way, time? the correct strategy is to move on for it. Yeah. Because you can tether recover with it, or you can possibly surprise them. Oh. And oh, the did one you surprise oh. you might take. Yeah. That could be Oh, and Jade misses another tech on the screen. Oh, fuck! Ooh. And you didn't punish. Now jump recovery. The Donna stock for Bayman is a little loud. Same thing if you can even it up. Oh! The tether! Daniel's attacks out of shield really been taking a lot of stuff. Yeah. Like Daniel's proving once again why he like Oh yes. That was a good one. Oh Bayonet's shield is very could be a shield very this could be a friend to attack. Nobody wants to be shield right Yeah. Especially if your partner's out there really Oh Daniel go with the up. Okay. So that jumping down the uh, Oh, yeah, oh. they hang on to that neutral. But it worked out. That's some damage. Oh, which time? So I think that's what Dan is doing. Dan is doing that on purpose to try to make something out. Yeah. So that's what they do. Take advantage of his hand. Yeah. I feel like I've seen him use the ball a lot just to get uh, rid of which time and then he's going to do it. That, that down B off seed, oh no, Davis must have got to a mission, but... I'm still getting close to it. If, if Daniel can win his fight, then Davis will get him to win. Oh, Daniel's basically, oh, oh missing packs. So that's one big thing that's been happening all night. People have just not been checking off stage. And again, at a high school smash tournament, you're not expecting it too often. But it is something that would save you. Know <laughs> so whenever you impact the side of the stage or even the top of the stage, you hit shield right whenever you hit, or a little before you hit, you have a few frames to get it. Then instead of bouncing perpendicular from it, instead of being launched away, you'll hit it and then bounce back up towards the stage. So oh, you'll see professionals do it all the time. Oh, oh wow. dude, that, oh, that is exactly what they needed. Oh, but this is a very high oh, yeah. This will definitely depend on all the- Oh no, oh this, see there's a tech right there. So Daniel did triple Oh, oh. and Dan Davis is- Oh, but he didn't put recovery. Aiming that recovery well around the A and They're just getting outclassed off stage. That's the problem. They definitely need to get some- Oh, Daniel's going to be taken out. Oh, Daniel's going to be taken out. Oh, the air dodge just to get back to stage. I feel like this is going With players as good as this, like especially for our tournament, you can't you can't oh, cheat in early stock up. Oh if they hit that. Oh this attack oh. again. He's lucky he did not just go straight down. Alright, so there it is. That is grand. So John and Allen. Three one. Okay, the screen there. All definitely right, taking, definitely taking this in a very convincing fashion. All right, thank you, thank you for uh, commentating. We'll uh, upload this video soon, and uh, we'll see you all next semester.